As a realtor, you've probably found yourself in multiple cases stuck in the learning phase or planning phase where you're always going to seminars, buying courses, watching YouTube videos, and then trying to learn as much as possible, but you never implement and you always get stuck in a rut and then get back to the drawing board and never move the needle, which is why so many agents plateau. What we're going to be diving into today is the performance cycle, which is the blueprint that thousands of agents have now used that I also use in order to take my business from multiple six figures to multiple seven figures every single year and this can also help you go from under six figures to multiple six figures within the next 12 months if you follow it to a t i'm bringing on david Benz, who's one of the industry's top mindset and performance coaches who's now used this to help thousands of agents scale and he's also a luxury agent himself and use this to get 10 million dollar listings very quickly so what we're going to be diving into is exactly what you need to follow so that you never hit a plateau that you're always scaling and always building momentum so that every year you don't have to fall short of your goals what's going to happen if you follow this is you're actually going to exceed them so if you have any questions about the performance cycle or anything in this presentation and you want to book a one-on-one -on -one call with david to talk about how you can partner with him to get his coaching and mentorship for free check out the pinned comment and the link in the description to do that so without further ado let's dive into what i would consider one of the most pivotal things that you can do in order to scale your business and something that quite honestly could change your business and your life forever Ever. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, one that I'm incredibly excited for, um, presented by a guy that has done more than almost any agent that I've seen. So what we're going to be diving into today is the performance cycle. Whether you care about production, whether you care about agent attraction, whatever your focus is in business, this is the cycle you need in order to build mass momentum and keep that momentum going in order to continue to move the needle on your business and grow every single year. One of the biggest problems I see with agents is they say they've been in the business for 10 years, but they haven't grown every year for 10 years. They've relived their first year every year for 10 years straight. And what we're going to talk about today is the tactical, practical stuff that you can do to see massive leaps and bounds in your business. So today we've got on David Benz, a massive heavy hitter of a luxury real estate agent, who's also a mindset coach and a performance coach for real estate agents. And again, what we're going to be diving into today or what David's going to be showing you um, has not only changed the lives of thousands of agents since 2014, um, but again, this is the exact stuff that I implement in order to continue to make leaps and bounds in my business every single year. So David, welcome man. super excited to have you on again. Hey, Mike, so good to be back. And if you guys are joining us for the first time, just a quick way of background. Uh, I've been in the business for 15 years, started in commercial and corporate real estate, transitioned over to Keller Williams, quickly climbed the ranks at Keller Williams. I was top 25 in Canada for 2015, 16 and 17. And I was also on the faculty. So I trained a lot of people at Keller Williams. During that whole time, I also spent 10 years leading programs to the world's largest personal development company called Landmark. It is something I hold near and dear to my heart. I had the opportunity to transform the lives of thousands of people I was there while I was there, as well as people in our industry. So what Mike and I are going to be covering today is a really, really important tool, because one of the reasons people are so ineffective and frankly, um, so disabled against their goals is they don't have a model to locate themselves inside of. Now, what I just said may not make a lot of sense, but it's going to in just a few minutes because you've got coaches training on mindset. You have FISBOs, you've got open houses, you've got this, social media, you got everything. But how far has that actually gotten you? They're all very effective pieces of training. Whether you walk through a social media course, you walk through a FISBO course, how to dominate luxury, how to dominate open houses, how to dominate YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, like we could go on for an hour about what's out, what's out there. But why is it that 95% of the people in our industry don't ever reach their income goals? Why is it that that top 5% and even of that top 5%, maybe 50% of them are actually meeting their goals? How does that make any sense? Well, to me, being a mindset and performance coach, it makes total sense. But for you, with what you're dealing with in your business, maybe you're far off your goals. Maybe you're down from last year. Maybe you're just up a little bit. 
what I'm going to share with you in the performance cycle, I have walked thousands of people through this and it is a very powerful tool. So let's get into that, Mike. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's uh, pull this up, guys. We're going to share the screen here. Um, and then again, this is part uh, one part of a multiple series uh, that David and I are doing. So what I'll be doing as David's pulling this up is I will link all of the other videos in the description below. Um, so you are going to like what we're going to talk about here. And if you do, make sure you go check out the other videos because this will bring your business full circle um, and not just change your business, but also change your life. So let's get into it. You got it, Mike. So this is the performance cycle. Let's go. Here it is. Take a screenshot of this. Save this. Embed this in your mind. Print it out. Put it in your office. Put it on your phone. I don't care. This is for you. Take it and use it. And this is the model. And the model of the performance cycle gives you a place to locate where you're at in the business. I will tell you right now, I already know where 95% of the people in our industry are because I've seen them time and time again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna walk through each phase of the performance cycle and what you can expect to experience when you're in that. And Mike, you could even see yourself in here right now. So the first phase is the most addictive. The first phase is the most addictive, which is planning. Because it's sexy. It's sold to you. It's marketed to you. The next trick, the next hack or strategy that's going to take you to, you know, 250 grand a year. When you're maybe making 65, 70 grand a year, maybe you're making 150, you don't want to get to 400. This applies it doesn't matter if you're a mega team or if you're just starting in the business. This covers everybody. And in planning, you're putting together a lead generation plan. Your business planning, your time blocking, your systems, leverage, you're doing lots of training, doing some marketing or planning your marketing, and idea generation. This here is where desire and creativity get triggered. It's no different when people go to a training event. Could be Keller Williams Family Reunion, EXP Con, doesn't matter what company it is. Everybody walks out of there feeling like they're going to take over the world. Oh, I'm going to be the next luxury agent in my marketplace. I'm going to go back home and you know, do what Sally Johnson said. I have no idea who Sally Johnson is. I just came up with that. But I'm going to go and emulate her. And then they're going to move into for typically about a three, maybe four week period of taking consistent action over those three to four weeks. They're going to post on social media. They're going to door knock. They're going to cold call call for referrals, do follow-up calls. They're going to send handwritten notes to their sphere. They're going to do mailers, send direct Facebook messages. But then they don't see a result. Why isn't this working for me? What's wrong with me? Why can't I have what I want? I'm not worthy of what I want. Why is it that Mike and David can have the, what they want, but why can't I? This is what gets triggered. You're frustrated, there's lack, fear, and the beast of comparison. You're angry and you get tired. And then what happens is this here, Mike, becomes the perpetual cycle of moving back and forth back and forth between planning and acting. Oh, I better go, you know, register for this course. I'm going to go register for that course. This is where the addiction happens. And it is truly an addiction. And what people actually get addicted to are the BS stories that they have about themselves. And that's the trap. Resistance is not fun. And the trap is moving back between planning and action, planning and repeated action, 
And it just becomes this pattern of people dancing back and forth between phase one and phase two of the performance cycle. I see that all the time where, you know, you see people and, and again, I can see the addiction because people honestly, and this is what I struggle with in terms of helping people get outside of this is they get really stuck in feeling like they're being productive by overly engineering and planning absolutely everything where they're working on a spreadsheet or they're working on a business plan. And to them, that's productive. But what they're doing is using it as a scapegoat to actually take action. And then what happens as you're alluding to here is they, they give a little bit of action. What they realize is that, you know, their perfect plan isn't as perfect as they thought it once was. So they're not getting the results they're looking for. And now, as you alluded to here, you know, comparison is the death of the joy. And if you're comparing yourself to other people, you become bitter. If you compare yourself to yourself, you can become better. And it's, you know, how can you look at comparing yourself to who you were yesterday versus, you know, I hear this all the time. Well, Mike, I've been in the business 15 years, this other person's been it for two years, and they're crushing it. Or, you know, I think I need to, to get this plan, I need to get better at videos, I need to get better at, you know, my ads aren't working. And what you realize is, my first ad sucked, my first video sucked, <laughs> yeah. done is better than perfect. And yep. by moving the needle, like, for you guys to understand before David goes any further, you know, when I was getting started on YouTube, it took me six months to put on my first YouTube video where I put my GoPro, you know, on my kitchen counter and I recorded myself for 30 minutes every single day to the point back in mid 2017 that I thought my first video was pretty darn great. And when I look at back today, I realize it's one of the most, you know, atrocious videos you'll ever find on YouTube. But again, at that point in time, I thought that was great. And what I've now realized is that as you're getting started, it's never going to be perfect. So plan to the point where you can start taking action. And then you need to start to adjust over time after you start to do that repeated action and find the shortcomings of where you need to improve on. Exactly, Mike. That's exactly it. And the ticket here, everyone, is when you're in repeated action, you have to make a decision. What does it mean to decide? It means to kill off everything that isn't what you want. You're welcome to go research the, the origin of that word. But decide is to choose one thing. Everything that's not that does not get entertained. It does not get any attention because you will, without a doubt, face resistance. In the moment you begin to face resistance, that is a clear trigger to keep going. Regardless of how you feel, regardless of what thoughts you're having, if you're following a social media program to build your business, keep going. If you're door knocking, keep going. Cold calling, keep going. It's you against resistance. And it does not matter what business person what thought leader, what artist, what athlete, all of them deal with resistance. You must keep going and make a decision for yourself that you are going after what you want. And the moment you do that and you take action for a period of 30 to 90 days and you slay that dragon of resistance, which will come up again, by the way, you then begin to pierce through into momentum. And in momentum, there's excitement. There's a sense of accomplishment. You're gonna receive a, a referral from your aunt, your uncle, a coworker. Maybe your parents suddenly decide they wanna buy an investment property. A friend from high school calls you and says, we need to sell our home and we need to go buy another one. You, If you haven't gone and already watch the video that Mike and I just did a couple of weeks ago on the vivid vision, go back and watch that and then come uh, and watch this again. Because when you pierce into momentum, you're going to be booking more appointments and doing more deals. And then you're going to move into expansion. And expansion is where your intestinal fortitude will get tested. How bad do I want what I say I want? because you will get overwhelmed. You're gonna have multiple clients, multiple deals. And if you're in an agent attraction or recruitment capacity, the performance cycle 
without a doubt follows the same route. The exact same things are going to happen. And then when you're in expansion, you're going to be doing multiple deals. You're going to be writing multiple deals. You're going to have all, lots of closings. And then you're going to naturally ease into flow. People are going to be flowing to you to join your organization, your team or company, if you're doing agent attraction in recruitment, or you're going to be constantly accumulating really great clients who want to work with you. You're going to be overloaded with clients and it's just going to be naturally coming to you. That won't last forever. The moment you recognize that you've got two, three or four buyers on the go, you've got a few listings, that's when you're in flow. This is when we need to reformulate. We got to come down and we need to look at the business objectively. Take a 30,000 foot view. What are the gaps in the business and what requires more attention for me to continue this growth? Well, I'm, perhaps I need to expand my systems. I need to hire more uh, staff so I can leverage myself. I need a buyer agent or a co-listing agent. I need to invest in marketing. There will be gaps in the business that you need to bring attention to and invest in. And then we come right back into creating a new plan because we're now at a new set point. That set point needs a plan to be able to sustain and grow itself. Once you have developed that new plan, once you've developed the new lead generation plan, the new leverage plan, you've done some more training, then you get back into repeated action over time. And again, this will go on when you're coming into a second phase of probably for about 180 days. It's gonna be a little bit longer it's going to take you longer to implement because you're at a new set point within your business. You're going to expand your social media presence. Maybe you've got your team members now door knocking or cold calling. Perhaps you hire some ISAs. You're doing a lot more follow-up calls. Perhaps you're going to do a client appreciation event. And then you're going to move into momentum again where you're going to receive more referrals. You're going to book even more appointments. You're going to be writing more deals. And then when you go into expansion, this second round, your team's starting to get a little bit bigger or your business is getting a little bit bigger. And when a team leader hits a point of expansion, in a lot of cases, they wanna run away from their business because they can't take it. They've got multiple team members, a couple of assistants, Everybody's coming up to them. The business is exploding. And for that one person to manage that, not only what it takes emotionally, but what it also takes time-wise can be very difficult for a team leader. I was on a call with an agent who's a very good friend of mine. She is absolutely crushing it here in the Toronto market. And she is suffering. Nobody would know it. Social media doesn't show it. Social media just shows the real estate business, the deals getting done, the happy clients, but the team leader at the top is hurting because everybody's coming for a piece of her. They want her time, her attention, her inbox, her texts, her WhatsApp. They want every piece of her. And then you got to move yourself into flow and again, reformulate. So I don't know where you're at in your business, but what I said at the beginning, if you're addicted to training, going to that next bold at Keller Williams or going to that next uh, Remax sales conference to get more training, whatever it is, wherever you are, you've got to make a decision that I have enough training. Create your plan. Your business plan should be one page. What's the financial objective? How many buyers? How many listings? If you're an agent attraction and recruitment, how many people am I going to attract? How many people are going to do this quarter, next quarter, and beyond? Very clear. Choose your lead generation strategy. I don't care if it's for uh, buyers listings or agent attraction. Choose your lead generation strategy. Move into repeated action over time and stick with it. Because the moment resistance shows up, you know you're on the right path path for growth and expansion in your business.
Yeah, there's two things I really want to point out here, guys, um, that really resonate with me just, you know, reflecting back on my journey. And, and the one is, is that resistance point between repeated action and momentum where, you know, back when I got started in, in 2017, <clears throat> you know, I was door knocking and I vividly remember multiple times where I would be door knocking in the hot or the minus 10 weather and feel like giving up. And, and there was multiple times where I'd stand on the sidewalk or in the middle of the street or on somebody's driveway and think, I'm two hours in, that's good. I'm just going to go home. And then I would always think about, again, my vivid vision, which I'll link in the, you know, in the card above with the video that we did. Um, and I would remember why I'm doing this. And every single time that I pushed past that resistance, I would get more leads and more booked appointments from the rest of that door knocking session than any other time in my business. This happens with every video that I do. And I feel like I don't want to put out another video. I record one more video and it turns into a banger. And when you start building momentum, that's where things change. But the next part I think is really important for people to understand is going from flow to resistance, the reformulation, because here's what I want you guys to understand. And this is why David and, and I talked um, about you know, doing enough planning to take action in order to lead yourself into the repeated action, but not over engineering it. Because here's what happens is that your business will grow to the capacity that you are as an entrepreneur. And the constraint is not the business, the constraint is you and your skill sets. So what happens is you need to take action with your skill sets and who you are and how you show up today get to the point where you flow. But the only point where you can continue to grow is if you develop more skill sets and grow as an entrepreneur, show up as a better leader, have better, better mental strength, you know, dial in your SOPs, your systems and processes, standard operating procedures to find efficiencies in your business that create leverage and create scale. So you have to understand that this is, as Dave is alluding to, is an ever-changing ongoing dynamic cycle, because you are always going to hit plateaus based on who you are as an entrepreneur. And the only way that you can take your business to the next level is if you reformulate, develop new skill sets, find ways to outsource, create leverage, and then build. Whereas a lot of people think the constraint is their market size, is their business. Almost every single time the constraint is your skill set which is why that for reformulation process is so imperative to this process. You got it, Mike. So if you're not reaching your goals and you're watching this video, go create a one page crystal clear plan on where you are, how you're going to execute on your vivid vision said more simply, what's your goal and objective and what's the plan that's going to get you there. Pick one, maybe two. If you're going to do social, go all in on social media, great. Compliment with open houses. If you're going to go all in on door knocking, awesome. Compliment with open houses or calling your sphere. Pick a maximum of two and go like hell for 30 to 90 days consistently every single day, Monday to Friday, minimum two hours a day. This is what it takes to be successful in our industry. Just like you, Mike, I got the exact same story. For those of you that are in Toronto, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Our summers here are wickedly hot and humid. And I remember back in probably 2015, I had a black t-shirt on with khaki pants and dress shoes, and it was 41 degrees out. And I got a listing for the sole fact of my work ethic. The guy, I came to his door and he could not believe that I was out there. But that is the consistent repeated action over a period of time being a minimum of 30 to 90 days to get yourself into momentum. And you have to put your thoughts, feelings, sensations, rationalizations, all aside, you can still have them there, but you need to consistently be taking the actions. If people in our business just followed this, they would get where they want to go, backed with a, with a very clear, vivid vision. It's not rocket science. Our business is not easy, but it is incredibly simple.
but we've, you know, the industry has loved to complicate itself. So anything else you want to talk about specifically on this, Mike? Because we could literally spend a day on it. Yeah, no, I think, I think this is good because again, yeah. without diving too deep, guys, this is all you need to take action, right? And, and we could go on for ages. And, and if you want to talk to David and I more about this, um, there's going to be a link in the description where you can book a call and we can talk to you about, you know, what it's like to align with us and, and be able to get, you know, our support on this adventure and this journey um, for free. But I want you guys to just understand that as I just need to, you know, echo what David just said is that, you know, being successful in real estate is as simple as it gets. It's just difficult because it takes relentless work ethic and your ability to withstand the resistance to keep pushing through. It is not difficult. You have to do very few things in order to build a successful business. The only thing is you have to do very thing, very few things very well, very consistently over a lengthy duration of time in order to actually see that success. And the problem is that the majority of people get stuck in this repeated action because they try something for one week or two weeks, and then they fall short, don't hit their expectations, and they go back to planning. And this is, you know, what I'll leave you guys with on my end before I let David wrap it up is, you know, this is like fitness, for example, you know, if you want to get in shape, and you in maybe you're 50 pounds overweight, and you want to get in shape, because you, you know, put on a couple pounds during the, the lockdown, um, you understand going into that journey, that you need to go to the gym every day, probably for a year in order to lose that weight. The problem is, is that due to, you know, coaching, social media, whatever, somehow the real estate industry has gone to the point where people have this perception that if it doesn't work or get you a deal this week, it doesn't work. But any journey is a process that you have to commit to knowing that, again, it is a transformation. You're learning new things. You're building new muscles. You're building new skill sets and that you have to commit to that. And again, this is why the performance cycle is so exciting and what David's sharing is so you know fundamental to the success of your business is that there's a caveat to consistency. You can be consistent for the rest of your life and never build a business or never build success if you're consistent with the wrong things. And that's why the graphic that David has on the screen is so powerful because if you're consistent with the right things, it is inevitable that you will be successful. And that's why this business is so exciting because if you follow the simple proven blueprint that thousands of people in every single market have done before you, you inevitably at some point will build a successful business. The importance is to not let the resistance along the way falter that journey or that vision that you had when you were getting into it. 100%, Mike, you nailed it. So look, let's just give people a couple of action items, okay? So if you haven't watched the Vivid Vision video that Mike and I did on Mike's channel, go back and watch that today. Not tomorrow, today. Because that's foundational to the performance cycle. And you want to go and create your vivid vision in that video. It's about 40, 45 minutes long. We're going to walk you through the entire process. And then you're going to design a plan of actions to forward the vivid vision. And as Mike just said, you have to take consistent, relentless, repeated action Monday to Friday for a minimum of two hours a day for at least 90 days. You do that you will be successful, okay? You take the consistent, repeated, relentless action Monday to Friday for a minimum of two hours a day for 90 days, you will be successful when it's backed up by a powerful vision. So if you haven't done that, go watch that video. And then the last step is simple. Cancel everything out and go follow the performance cycle and make a decision. A decision is to kill off everything that isn't what you want. So if you're deciding this year, I'm going for $250,000 in gross commission income, great. Anything that's not that, that doesn't forward that, doesn't get your attention in the business realm, okay? So I wanna leave you with that. Follow the performance cycle, take a screenshot of this. And uh, it's been an absolute delight, Mike, to be with you on this uh, second part of the Mindset Mini Series. And uh, I'm pumped to see what people create for themselves and their business and their life out of this training. 
Yeah, man, it means the world to me. And I'm super grateful to do this with you too. Cause guys, you know, um, I live this, but Dave, David lives this even more than I do. And, and to see the success of his business and not just his, but the thousands of agents that he's been able to transform using this exact strategy. This is the simple stuff that you need to do to execute very clearly in a defined manner over time. You don't need to go read more books. You don't need to go, you know, to another meetup or a seminar or, or some sort of event. You need to do this. And then you need to, again, consistently execute to the point where once you can reformulate, then you can start looking at going to the next thing that will develop you as an entrepreneur. So again, if you have any more questions about this, drop a comment below or feel free to book a call with us and we'll jam out with you um, about how we can help you take your business to the next level. And again, I'll link all of the other videos in our series, as well as the links to David's incredible training programs and his social media accounts below in the description and the pinned comment. So Thank you so much, guys, for watching. As always, please make sure to take action and execute on what we talked about today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.